this is Jack 14. He'll be the main character. Oh. And uh, this is the first time ever that a minifigure has had a translucent arm. Okay, we're at the Legos Department Showroom at the New York Toy Fair with Peter. He's going to talk to us about Lego Star Wars. I'm psyched. Wow. Absolutely. We have a lot of great new Lego Star yeah. Wars sets for 2013. A lot of changes um, this year. Exactly. So yeah. we're starting out, and here's the Rancor pit that came out okay. January 1st. Right. The really cool feature about this is that it actually fits on top of Jabba's palace set from right. last year and in the movie, so you can recreate the iconic scene from the movie where they right. drop down into Jabba's palace. And they, and and they go through the, the trap. They go through the, the trap, uh, and uh, it is great fun. So that's This is the Rancor, this is the guy here, right? Yep, so this is the, the monster, and yeah. it is his pit. So uh, yeah. And then the guard, the guy who keeps him, right? Does Absolutely. It, oh, is that the guy, and then the guy with the bone is Luke, right? Yes, yeah, so that is Luke Skywalker, and that is a new minifigure for this year. Oh, right. And then there's a skeleton of somebody. Yep. You didn't make it. Exactly. You right. definitely want to be on the other side. Fun. So a lot of great new sets, and then we kind of go into the planets for this yeah. year. Uh, planets. And, uh, this, this is your second year for the planets, right? This is the second year for the planets, uh -huh. and uh, it involves basically uh, all mm -hmm. the pieces can fit inside the planets, as right. well as then you can display them, and it has a little information as well. So it's great for any desk or uh, on top of a dresser, and you know, great role play value. There. If I recall, like the planet. The ship comes from that planet. Yes. Yeah. So they correspond with each other, yeah. and uh, that is how they are kind of set up. So cool. a lot of fun and a great little display piece. Right. Okay. And then we kind of go into some of the other sets that are coming out in August. Uh -huh. And here we have the forming spider droid, and uh, there's a new uh, new Jedi featured in this one, and oh. it's Stas Ali. And uh, we're really excited, and it uh, features some great spring action, and it's uh, definitely a fun set. Uh, as well as kind of going into the Mandalorian speeder, this we see Darth Maul with his robotic legs, and so it's a lot of fun. And uh, then also we have uh, the Corporate Alliance tank droid, and this is the first time that we see Jango Fett in several years return oh, yeah. to the Lego Star Wars uh, oh, universe. So. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's definitely collectible if you're looking uh, for some new minifigures for your collection at home. And okay, and down here? Here we go to the Jack 14 Stealth, Stealth Starfighter, excuse me, and this will be coming out in August and it'll have a tie to a upcoming series, the Yoda Chronicles, which will be on the Cartoon Network coming out later this year. Wow, like and new Star Wars, new, new yeah. Star Wars stories. New Star Wars stories. So uh -huh. Lego worked closer with Lucasfilm on developing uh -huh. new content for uh -huh. the story and it's uh -huh. an extension of the Lego Star Wars universe. And, and it's on be, Cartoon Network. And it will That's be on Cartoon deal. Network yeah. and it will be in CGI similar to the Clone Wars. Wow. So a lot of great things. And then this is Jack 14. He'll be the main character. Oh. And uh, this is the first time ever that a minifigure has had a translucent arm. So very cool and uh, wow. collectible. So. Is that like a robotic arm? Uh, I can't say, oh, but uh, it's trans the story, it, it is translucent. Spoiler. So uh, uh, okay. it's pretty we'll, fantastic. We'll find out, I guess. Absolutely. Okay. And then up here? Up here we have the duel on Geonosis, and uh, we see some new minifigures. This, this is part of a new story? No, so oh. this is actually based on uh, one of the movies, and uh, it features the battle between Count Dooku and Yoda, which uh, uh, and there is a fun feature. It's not hooked uh -huh. up, but you can actually control Yoda and make him move around, and uh, just like he was flying around in the battle. Okay, okay, great. And this is the ATTE, one of the biggest sets. And all the minifigures in this set are brand new for this year. Oh. So we have another new Jedi, Mace uh -huh. Windu, with his purple lightsaber. Uh -huh. And a great functionality within the set. A lot of role play opportunity, yeah. as well as uh, great new minifigures. I think you got rotating turrets and cannons and stuff. It looks pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Okay. And then we have Jabba's sail barge. Oh, I like this one. Yep. Absolutely. So, Jabba's uh, sail barge. Jabba. He's my hero. <laughs> is he? Yeah, he's a cool dude. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Jabba definitely yeah. is. He's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> totally. So oh, he's got his own sail barge. <laughs> he does have his own sail barge. So we have again some new mini figures in this yeah. set. Okay. Uh, Max Rebo, fan favorite. Where is that? Uh, Where right is here. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Max Rebo, yeah. and then we also have Riaz and uh, Princess Leia in the so. Yeah. And in the back, it features you know where music is played, which oh, is fantastic. Sure. Yeah. And uh, just to give you a little idea, of what it chained up there. Absolutely. So but here. he gets rescued in this scene. 
Yes, yeah, yes. Right. So uh, if you want to see the sail barge, yeah. a little bit more I see close, it folds so up. It folds yeah. up and great. great for easy transfer. Excellent. Great set. And then we have the Republic gunship. And this is a fantastic large yeah, set. Look how big that is. It's very large. And this also includes some new mini figures that I want to call out. Okay. Uh, we have Pad Pad Padme. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the first time she has been featured in her combat outfit. Oh, yeah, so, as yeah. you can tell, she was just uh, in a little bit of a scuffle. So, uh, it's We're good to see down. she made it out okay. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, some of the other mini figures yeah. as well. And it's a just a large details. set. A lot of the details. Control the cockpits. Absolutely, and everything of course course. opens and uh, you know, closes, and uh, it's great. We can actually take a full, oh, move it up a little bit. And that's a wow. 360. Yeah, I want this. Ooh. Absolutely, so. Great. Great. Okay. And then that takes us to our advent calendar uh, oh, this uh -huh. year. So this will be coming out in September. You've done these for a while. Huh? Yes, so this is... Uh, we have had the advent calendars for a while, and uh, they're always very. And the idea is each each day of the month. So each day a you'll be able to open up and either find a little mini build mm -hmm. or something along those lines. Twenty-four days and twenty-four day countdown. So uh -huh. it's uh, pretty fantastic and, and a great way to uh, welcome in the holiday season. Are there some like exclusive figures in this? There are. So it's an exclusive oh. Django Fett minifigure mm -hmm. that's included. Is that here? And uh, yes, it's oh, right there here. Is. And he's actually in uh, some red for the holiday season. And uh, these are, would be the mini builds and okay. the, uh, the different mini figures that would be included in the advent calendar. That's about it. Okay. Hey, thank you so much, Peter. Definitely. Thank you. We're looking forward to seeing this stuff in the stores. Definitely. Between the bars 